Today we're at Del Vista Math and Science Academy, home of the dragons, and we're here to... All right, today we're back at Del Vista Math and Science Academy and the kids have been using pattern blocks, taking a look at the different attributes that they have, things that are common, things that are not common amongst them, taking a look at the sizes of the angles, the shapes of them, and things like that. You guys ready for a specific task to do now? Yes. All right, so working in your group, the group of three, you're gonna get some cards and you need to look at all of the cards and see if you can make what the eventual goal is. You ready? All right. So, let's see. What's your name? Eliza. Eliza. You can pick. Which stack of cards would you guys like to work on? All right. There you go. So, those are yours. So, take the cards apart, work together in your group, and see if you can solve the problem. Make a row of pattern blocks. Okay. So, it says there are a total of eight. Red pieces. Red, green, and blue. So out of the red, green, and blue all together, there's going to be eight. Oh. So it's not eight red, eight green, and eight blue. Oh, I get it. You get it now? Yeah. Okay, so out of all of the red, green, and blue all together, there's going to be eight. Not eight of all different colors. So it's not saying how many you need to figure right, it out. Right, you need to figure that out. And right? That's kind of easy. You know there are eight blocks. Only oh, three, three are missing. The it can't but be the It says only three, so it has to be three. Colors. As they continue working at Del Vista Math and Science Academy, they're getting closer and closer looking at the clues. So what we're going to do is we're going to help them out a little bit and see if you guys can get this thing set. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So here's what I want you guys to do. Take a look. I'm going to show you something. All right. And see if this is going to help you out. So did you guys get your row? Yeah. There you go. All right. Let's take a quick look at it. All right. So go ahead and start with the first one. According to some math books, a rhombus has four equal sides. Though four pattern blocks have four sides, only three are rhombuses. Okay. So we can keep on going. Go to the next one. The pieces at the ends, ends of the row are not quadrilaterals, but there are two rhombuses in the middle of the row. Okay, so it says that these are not quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals have how many sides? Four. Four, and these don't, so we're good. Next one. A trapezoid is next to the, next to the piece that has the smallest angles. Okay, so there's the trapezoid, and these are the smallest angles, right? Yes. Okay, keep going. The piece on the left has the largest number of acute angles of any piece. The piece on the right has more obtuse angles than any, any other. Okay, so those are more acute and those are more obtuse. So you're good. Keep going. None of the pattern blocks in the row touch each other, and, un and none of the, the shapes are congruent to any others in the row. So none of them are the same, are they? No. No? Do we have any other clues? The two pieces on the left end of the row are both regular. They have equal angles in every corner. So these are all equal, aren't they? Mm -hmm. The angles, okay. Any other ones or is that it? That's it, so you guys both satisfied it. There you go, working with pattern blocks and solving a specific task at Del Vista Math and Science Academy.